In today's video, I'm going to show you two best ways of adding titles in CapCut PC that will always get your test pop. Let's get started. Blurry background. Video already in the timeline. Let's create a basic animation for titles. So let's go to the left side of the software, click on test, then select the default test, drag and drop in the timeline. Make it a little bit longer and stretch it. Now click on the test, go to the right side, delete default test and type in your test. You can later change the font style and also the size. With this, I'll go with color yellow. Close that. Now click on animation and we're gonna use one from in. I'll select slide up, it looks pretty cool and clean. And then I'll change the duration to somewhere one to 2.5 seconds. So let's go with 2.1 seconds with this. It comes in nice and clean. Then click on out and this time around select slide down so it will go the opposite direction. So this comes in and it goes back to the same direction. And once again, let's change the duration of that to somewhere two seconds. So now I'll play and show you guys we have something like this. It comes in and it goes back. But as you can see, the background looks kind of busy and you can't really focus on the test. And mostly when we bring in tests, we want our viewers to focus on the test. So this one trick about getting the blurry background. With this, click on the video, Command C or Control C to copy, then Command V or Control V to paste it on top of it. Then go to the left side of the software, click on Effect, then click on Video Effect, click on Lens, scroll down, and then select Blur. Drag it and drop it on the top video. Make sure it's really on the top video. Then when you click on the Blur Effect, you can see you can increase it at the right side of the software or you can reduce it. So with this, let's go with somewhere 57 or 56 percent. Right on the spot, you can see the blurry affect the video and we can really see it at the beginning. So now we're going to animate the blur to come in at the same time with the text and that makes it look pro. This is the trick we're going to use. So with this, when you look carefully at the text, it has this small arrow that shows our animation in. So this is the beginning and the ending of it. So with this, what you do is click on the top video that has the blur effect. Make sure you take your playhead to the starting of the text where the animation starts from. So with that, we we'll go to the right side of the software, scroll up, and then make a keyframe on opacity. Then go to where the animation ends on this side. You can see the arrow. Let me move a little bit. You can see an arrow showing that's where the animation ends. And when you see on the screen too, it comes in and ends right there. So we take our playhead there and make sure you select the top video and make another keyframe on opacity. Now I'll use this arrow to go back to the very first keyframe that we made. And with opacity, just turn it back to zero. Now I'll play and show you guys how it looks like comes in and then we have a blurry background and because it's the same video you're not going to see any difference and now as you can see the blur comes in really sharp and it's not that smooth so this is what you do to make it really smooth right click on that click on show keyframe animation then click on opacity and this time around use the drop down menu click on that it's going to show our keyframe graphs then click on the second keyframe make sure you select auto curve it's going to give us that cool smooth curve at the top and also make sure you select the first keyframe and then select auto curve and now we have this s curve that was going to make it really smooth now right click on the video and click on hide keyframe animation and now we need to do the same thing for the ending part when the test go out so with this make sure you take your playhead to exactly where it starts to go out so somewhere here where as you can see on the arrow click on the top video then go to the right side of the software make a keyframe once again on opacity then go to where it ends on this side you can see the test ends here and then the animation line also ends here and make sure you click on the top video and make another keyframe on opacity and this time around just take the opacity back to zero and once again we need to make it smooth so right click on that and click on show keyframe animation then click on this very keyframe and select auto curve and do the same thing with the last keyframe and select auto curve now just right click on that and hide keyframe animation and i'll play and show you guys what we have so far the contrast method we're going to maintain the video and also the title animation since we know how to do that earlier on in this tutorial so with this click on the video command c or control c to copy 
then go to the ending part of it command v or control v to paste it on that side drag it to the main timeline then go to the right side of the software click on basic and scroll down on canvas click on that and select color so with this we're going to choose black color for this but you can choose any color depending on how or the look you want to go for so with this just go with black then go to mask click on mask and select rectangle and now click on this reverse icon and then use the on-screen control stretch it to cover the whole screen now make a compound clip of that video right click that create compound clip and with the compound clip selected let me make it small we we'll just drag it on top of this main video let me stretch it to fill the whole screen now it's covering the main video click on the compound clip go to basic and then with opacity let's take it to somewhere 50 percent and once again we want it to come in at the same time when the text is coming in so we need to do the same keyframe animation on the compound clip so with that go to where it begins on this very side click on the compound clip and make a keyframe on opacity then go to where it ends on this very side click on the compound clip and then make another keyframe on opacity now use this arrow to go to the first keyframe we created over there just drop the opacity back to zero once again we need to make it come in smooth so right click on that click on show keyframe animation then click on opacity click on this icon to show the keyframe graphs then click on this very keyframe change it to auto curve and do the same thing with the first one and click on auto curve now we need to do the same thing for the ending part so take your playhead to where it starts to go out make sure you click on the compound clip and make a keyframe on opacity then go to where it ends take your playhead there make sure you select the compound clip and make another keyframe on opacity and this time around take it back to zero and now we have this linear curve so we need to change the curve to have that smooth s curve so click on this very keyframe and click on auto curve and do the same thing with the last keyframe and click on auto curve now right click on that click on hide keyframe animation and i'll play and show you guys what we have so far this next video will show you how to create split screens in CapCut pc catch you guys on the next one peace